Hello everyone, it's it's Harry here. Um, well, this I ugh, didn't see this coming. Basically, w- what happened is we thought we were being clever this week, and we recorded our Wednesday's episode on a Monday. I mean, basically my fault because I couldn't do Wednesday or Tuesday. Um, and then Nick DeFreeze, oh, I'm sorry, not his fault. Alfred Towery decided that they're gonna they're gonna sack Nick DeFreeze on Tuesday. So we've just had breaking news. Uh, Daniel Ricciardo is going to be replacing Nick De Vries for the remainder of the season from Hungary. I know we, we we thought maybe you know after the summer break, but no, no, it's straight away. Um, so from Hungary, Ricciardo is in is in the Alpha Tauri, and as we as I uh, record this on a Tuesday afternoon, Ricciardo is still uh, driving around Silverstone in a Red Bull in a Pirelli test. So. Does he know? Who knows? Uh, I guess he does. But uh, yeah, crazy, crazy times. Apologies that it is just me, but this is an emergency podcast uh, because we did record our normal podcast at the wrong time. I uh, Vintage, vintage F1 news breaking at the wrong time for the late breaking gang. So anyway, apologies that it's just me. I, I'm going to do a very quick few minutes uh, on initial reaction. Um, firstly... Red Bull at it again. Sa- this is a savage way to get rid of your driver. I know uh, we have been harsh on De Vries all season, and, and deservedly so, none more so than Sam Sage. Um, but honestly, to, I thought they'd give him at least until the summer break, uh, which is what they've done before. They did it with Gasly and Albon back in 2019. Um, I, I appreciate Kafia. They got rid of quite early doors in 2016. Um, but anyway, I thought they would have they would have done that. But yeah. Daniel Ricciardo, he's not even done half a year out of F1 and he's already back. So I think this is probably, there's a wider play here. I don't think this is an, uh, I think Nick De Vries is a bit of a scapegoat. Yes, he's not performed well. Um, I would say he's been getting slightly closer to Sonoda. Silverstone, I know he was last, I think, by the end of the race, but he, he I think he was get, he's getting closer in pace. But I think the wider play here is they're they're putting Ricardo in the seat to either a make Sergio Perez sweat a bit or b actually they're using this rest of the season to consider Ricardo if Ricardo's a replacement for Perez. And when you listen to at the actual Wednesday's episode, we talk about Perez and his and his uh, chances of keeping a seat next year. I suggested that they should do this and put Ricardo in uh, as a tester to see whether he he replaces Perez in 2024. And well, it looks like it looks like they're listening to me. So um, yeah, this is a, a very interesting, very interesting time. Um, I've just try, I'm just trying. This is so breaking. I'm still reading the article as it happens. Obviously, it was broken by. Um, some Dutch media this morning, or not this morning, probably about two hours ago, uh, as I record. Um, we weren't sure whether it was true or not, but it has now been confirmed as, as true. Um, yeah, it's just a very odd way for it all to happen. Uh, I, I've done a, a poll in our Discord very quickly just to have something to something to talk about um, and whether they think it's the, it's the right decision or not, uh, uh, whether Ricardo is the right person to replace De Vries. At the moment... He's winning seventeen to twelve, um, but that I mean that could change. For I guess I should talk about what it means for Daniel Ricciardo. I guess he probably didn't expect to be in this position quite so soon, um, and whether he wants to be in this position so soon. Obviously, he was want to take a year out, which I think honestly was probably looking at the state he was in at the end of twenty twenty two. Probably a good thing for him, doing a bit of sim work. Obviously today was his first time back in an F1 car. Um, but now it's his first time back in an F1 car to prep for the race he's got to do next week in a car that he has never driven before. So there's there's risk associated uh, to this for Daniel Ricciardo. Because um, if he gets in that car and Yuki Tsunoda smokes him for the remainder of the year, then it's that's game over. Uh, and Because who's going to have him then? Um I, again, I don't know whether this means that he's he'll be there next year as well. If the Perez option doesn't happen, um, then will they keep him for 2024? Because there is also the matter of Liam Lawson, uh, who is doing very well in uh, Super Formula at the moment. I think he's P2 in the standings. 
um, and maybe they should have they should have brought him in. Uh, but it's it's a it's an interesting call. It always seems to be Daniel. I tell you what, Alex Albon's appendix has got a lot to answer for because since that burst, uh, it, it's all gone absolutely haywire. Uh, so yeah, Nick DeFries obviously replaced him for that race in, in the Williams in Monza. That gave him his chance here, and and now Daniel Ricciardo is is back in the seat, and all because of Alex Albon's appendix. So I hope he knows the chaos that he's caused with that. Um, but yeah, so I don't have a huge amount extra to say. Uh, this will be the shortest podcast I think we've ever made. And apologies again that it is just me, but the other two are are busy. Um, it's it's also my birthday today. Whilst I record this, so what a birthday present this is! Cheers, uh, cheers, AlphaTauri and. Red Bull for for doing this. You've uh, maybe do a little mini emergency podcast on my birthday, um, but yeah, we'll be keen to hear what you guys think. Uh, the boys are going to be back. Well, all three of us are back on Wednesday, but we won't be talking about this because we've already recorded it, as I've already mentioned. But then the two boys, Sam and Ben, will be also back on Sunday. Well, they'll cover this much more in depth, um, uh, and and. And I guess with better opinions than I'm giving here, because as I say, this is just breaking. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'll I'll, I'll go. Uh, keep breaking late. <laughs>